was born with the spirit of sin. That's why people call me the seer. I will tell you everything you need to know about yourself. Yeah, hello guys. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I greet you according to the time you are seeing this particular post. Guys, today guys, I will teach you guys the importance of faith. Both tradition, both Christianity, both Muslim, Islam speaks a lot about faith. As Jesus Christ said in the Bible, if you have faith as small as mustard seed, you will say to the mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. I'll come again. If you have faith as small as mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here, and it will move. Faith is the basic of everything. Faith is the basic of everything. You ought to practice Christianity. You ought to practice Islam. You ought to practice tradition. Faith, 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 faith is the most important. You know, in the early days, mustard seed was used to refer to the smallest of all things. Yes, in the early days, right? Mustard seed was used to refer to the smallest of all things, you know? So if you can have faith, as little as a mustard seed, as small as a mustard seed, you will be you you will be unstoppable. You know, some of us guys, the faith we have, we allowed the faith to work against us instead of the faith to work for us. So if you can have faith as small as this little mustard seed you are seeing on the screen, you will say to the mountain, move away from here. Adam Matthew will move. Now the question is, how do you cultivate your faith? How do you grow your faith? How do you have faith? As in, how can you cultivate your faith? That's where the question lies, right? How do you cultivate your faith, you know? Now, one thing you have to know is that either your faith is working against you or working for you. In any other way, it's working for you. The thing is that a lot of people have developed negative faith. Yes, a lot of people have developed negative faith and it's working against them instead of their faith to work for you. Now, this is how you make your faith to work. Before then, guys, there's something I would like you guys to understand, you know? This faith of a thing is the basic of all things. Anything, if you don't have faith, it doesn't work for you. God, you know in the beginning, right? God created man and woman, right? God created Adam, God created Eve. Now, do you think, do you think God is still going around creating children? No, 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 no. God has created in us what we create, what we want. Yes, God has created in you, which is your mind. Your faith is what we create what you want. That you have faith in, that is what you will get. That just it. You know, to the fact that God is no longer going around to create babies, that is it. God is no longer going around creating what you want. He has created in you, He has programmed in you what we create what you want, which is your mind and your faith. Another thing is that God has created on earth what we want or what we can use to create every other thing we want so that's why today you see we have airplane we have car it was they were they were not created by god right but god created those things that we use to create those things we want so god has created everything in the universe god has created everything we want in the universe so that anything we want we have access to them to do it so also god has created you so that anything you want you have access to it and the first thing is your mind and what will bring whatever you think to life is faith. The thing that will bring what you think to life is faith. Now, oh, firstly, what is faith? What is faith? Faith is believing in the unseen. What did I say? Faith is believing in the unseen. Faith is believing in the unseen that yes, the thing is there. If I have faith that yes, God is going to buy me, God is going to give me a car. I don't have money to buy a car. I don't need to think of how we de- will I get the money. The how is none of my business. The only thing I will have to focus on is where will I pack my car, you know? You just have to decide. You just have to decide as in where am I going to put this, when this thing comes. Just believe that yes, you have asked for it. Since you have asked for it, everything is there already for you. That's just faith. Even if it's a pastor or your imam or your native daughter that do anything for you, if you keep if you keep that thing, if you keep that thing, it will not work. Even if you pray to God to give you something and you keep down thing, down thing, down thing, down thing, down thing, it will not work. And that is the weapon the devil uses against mankind almost all the time. 
It is faith that transforms your ordinary thought into a spiritual force. I repeat, it is faith that transforms your ordinary force into a spiritual force. A weak expression of faith holds little power. That's just it. If, you, if your faith is weak, then your power will be weak. So it is faith that will transform your thinking, your, your, what you want, into a spiritual force that will work and brings everything you want to your doorstep. Now, once you desire what you want, and uh, once you decide this is what you want, so faith is very, very important, okay? So have faith. And one thing you have to know is that after you have decided that this is what I want, and you have requested for it, how it will come is none of your business. Just have faith, it will be yours. You need 10 billion era, how that 10 billion era will come is none of your business. Just request for it, ask for it, and it will be given to you. If only you stay and hold on your feet, and how do you guide your faith how do you guide your faith now as such if you want to guide your faith you have to i repeat you have to what remove anything close your mind completely to all that may dim your vision all that will make you doubt all that will quench your belief or all that will cause you to doubt you know simply put away all those things that will what that will make you to doubt that will make that will quench your belief or that will dim your vision you know if it is a friend that will make you not to believe this will come discard that friend for that moment if it is a family member whoever will be that you know that is good to is good to make you think otherwise don't stay. That's why sometimes it's good to keep this to yourself or it is, it is be done because there are some people that their idea of helping us is telling us what can't be done, you know, instead of what can be done.